Let's, so. let's talk about you now. I mean, this this your song with uh, Uhuru. Um, he's massive in South Africa. Yeah. Who approached the group. who first of all? Oh, sorry, the they. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> what was I thinking? Yeah. Who approached who first? We did. Went okay. to the studio. Went South Africa for a music video shoot. So we're like, okay, let's go to Huru Studio. And we're back, well, run town, run town. They asked me the same question. I heard you wrote the IA song. I was like, wow, so the news. You so, but that's, that, that means there's no smoke without fire. There's something you're not telling us. <laughs> no, it's not that. It's not that. I think it's just pretty much because of the Nigerians, they hung out with or something. Yeah. So they were like, okay, let's make something. And we're in the studio and we got Banga. We did a couple of other songs too, but I felt Banga was like the catchy one. So we released that one. And was it heat? Was it? Was it? I, I like to ask money questions. Did you do that because, I mean, let's, it, it's money from South Africa to <laughs> Nigeria, or it, it was just a connection? No, but in music, you have to break boundaries. Yeah, you have to break boundaries because walking in the mall there, in Nigeria here, they'd be like, hey, see run down, see run down. Everyone wants to feel that way if you're in another country too. So I think yeah, that's why I did We are getting massive support yeah, and all of to that. to break boundaries. That's why I did that collaboration. Personally now, are you in a relationship? Yeah, I am. Who are you dating? <laughs> <laughs> it's a secret. <laughs> so you have a girlfriend or yeah, you I have do. a fiance or a wife? No, I, was, or? I have a girlfriend. Okay. Yeah. Where's she? Uh, she's somewhere. <laughs> but just that I have a girlfriend. Where's she? No, she's somewhere. Is she in Lagos? Is no, she, she in the industry? No, she's not, she's not in the industry. How long have you dated her for? Um, couple of months now. <laughs> oh, he's still fresh. That's why she's smiling. You can see the glow in his eyes. <laughs> Yeah. Because I asked that because I mean there was there was a Cynthia Morgan question that has also come up a lot, I'm sure. Um, no, was there ever was no, there ever the anything picture. there? No, 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 no. That was just a picture. We we're for the Star Trek thing and we we're having dinner and we we're like, okay, I just post a picture. Would you ever date someone in the industry talk. though? Mm, it depends. It depends, but I'm not sure. Now that you have someone it's she's <laughs> No, she's not in the industry, but I'm not sure. I wouldn't want to date I I wouldn't want to put my relationship out there. So I think that's why I don't want to date someone. I appreciate the honesty. Most people, when you ask them, they always skirt around the question and don't want to answer. Do you think, like most artists say, that a relationship distracts you from the music? Yeah, of course it does. <laughs> of <Okay>. course. <laughs> She's watching. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Of course it does. So, it does. It distracts you. So with her in your, your, your life right now, how is that helping with your music? How is that working? She's supportive. She understands. Yeah, when I'm out there, she knows I'm working. So... Is, is it not a problem for her dating an artist? No, it's not a problem. It's not a problem. <laughs> Are you sure? daddy will be back home soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she calls you daddy. Yeah, she does. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> who are your friends in the industry? Who are, you, who are the people you hang out with? Who are your buddies? Um, I don't really have friends in the industry. I have, like, colleagues in the industry, people I work with. So it's just like hang out. There's an event going on, and we just meet up there and hang out. You have no friends in the industry. Not really, no friends. <laughs> Fino, of course. Fino is not like a friend. Fino is like a brother to me. Timaya is like more of a dad to me. He's not like a friend. So those are people I knew way before everything. So I don't really have friends in the is industry. Is it because it's hard to make friends in the industry? No, it's not. It's not that. I think we met on work basis. So it's just work. Everything is work. We either in the studio recording or we're at some event. Yeah, but so far I think Whiskey, David, and a couple of them. Oh, okay, what do you want to see differently in the industry that's not there now? When you look at the music industry in Nigeria, is there anything you see now that you want to see differently, or something you'd like to be added on? Um, I think something like the chat, like the billboard thing. Okay. Yeah. Sometime last year they said they were working on some. They were working on an having African a proper billboard. chat. Yeah, proper chat. I think that's all. The proper chat, the awards these days they're trying. I think a proper chat, a proper chat would do. Great stuff. I know a lot of people have also said that. I mean, you mentioned awards there, and it's something that people like to say validates them. Is this something you you look forward to winning awards? Does it matter to you seriously? Mm, yeah, it does. Every artist, every artist wants to be awarded. Yeah, every artist pretty much wants to be awarded. Some artists would be like, the award, no, 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 no. But trust me. If you're doing good, you want to be awarded. But if you know you're good enough and you don't win awards, does it matter? No, it doesn't matter. Uh -huh. It doesn't matter. <laughs> no, it doesn't. But you should. It doesn't matter, but you should. Okay. Yeah. Do you do anything else besides singing? Besides music? A lot. Are there other parts of the entertainment industry that you probably would explore? Um, I think the fashion industry, that's okay. one. Then every other thing is business, not really the music industry. Songwriting, 
Okay, that's still the music industry, but songwriting, fashion business. That's pretty much it. How for far now, are you willing to take this fashion thing? Because you've mentioned it quite a bit. Very far. Very far. I want to consult for like major brands. Like what kind is to consult okay. for brands? You know, that's what I want to do. I don't plan to have my own fashion line. I just want to consult for other brands. Why, why, why not have your own fashion brand then? I mean, you are looking, like I said, you look very sharp. So <laughs> no, you I have think, a sense I of think, what's um, good. I think to distract me from my own music. Because okay. that's like being in the fashion industry like being full-time in the fashion industry. But when you're like a consultant, you don't really have to worry about a lot of things. You don't really have to worry about your competition, what your competition is putting out and everything. So being a consultant is very much is better yeah, for me. Okay. Let's, let's talk uh, slightly controversial now. Let's go ethnic a bit with, with, with um, the industry. And um, I mean, you mentioned Fino there who's someone that's, you know, you, he's like a brother to you. Yeah. And he's done very well for himself, yeah. especially with yeah, yes. breaking boundaries and yeah. making Igbo rap almost yeah, mainstream. Yeah, true. Um, but there's still the belief that, oh, if you're not from a certain part of the country, it's harder to break through the Lagos market, if you know what I mean. Do you find that is true? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think you have to be unique. Speaking of Fino, Fino proved that it's wrong. Yeah. Yeah, Fino is not from the western part of Nigeria. Yeah. But he's like popular here too. He's popular outside Nigeria, other countries in Africa, so it's not true. Flavor is like an international act too and he's doing Igbo music, so it's not true. You just have to be different. You just have to find a way to sell your sound to the world. That's all. So is there has ever been any pressure on you to sort of do sounds that, you know, the West might appreciate and all of that because you find a lot non Yoruba, really. yeah, find a lot non Yoruba artists singing Yoruba songs. Yeah, true, not really. But you have to, when you're recording your album, your album needs to cut across everywhere. You need to do songs for East Africans, songs for South Africans, the yeah. banga, you know, songs <laughs> like that. So, so that's pretty much it. What do you want to get out? What do you want to get out of music? Whenever you are done with it, seventy years, five years, whenever it is, you decide, okay, I'm done. What is it you want to have gotten out of it? I, I'm just here to like, I'm just here to inspire people, to inspire people to be great. I'm money. <laughs> money, money, money of course, that money now. But I'm here to inspire people. These young kids out yeah. there, they feel like they can't do it, so I'm here to inspire them. Okay. So. Um, going forward, what should we be looking out for? Singles, albums? No, my album is coming out soon. Okay. Real soon, maybe How October. Soon? October. Okay, because I know yeah. there's about 300 <laughs> albums dropping in September. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's dropping an album in September. Are you one of them? No, not September. Okay, Definitely but this September. year? Yeah, this year. Is it done? You, who's on it? It's almost done. Any idea of who's on it? Hello Give us a few on names, come on. Um, Nigeria, Whis we have Whiskey on it, okay. David O, Don Jazzy, Uhuru. Two Face. Yeah, Uhuru from <laughs> South Africa. Heavy K from South Africa too. Okay. And some American act too. And like too. No, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> He's not saying anything. <laughs> so, album coming soon. Okay. Any artists, any sing sorry, any singles coming out before the album? Yeah, one more single. When is that going to be out? Next month. Okay. Yeah. Great stuff. Um, the video um, I just shot, the Ben Nampas video with Whiskey is coming out tomorrow. Oh, okay. Yeah, tomorrow, yeah. Okay. Great stuff. Thank you very much for being here today. Right, Looking forward thanks. to all the great things you do. You are thanks for amazingly talented me. guy. The fashion side has actually gotten me very excited. <laughs> I'm looking forward to see what you can yeah, do from that. It's yeah, nice yeah, to see where people diversify yeah. and make more money for themselves. Yeah, money. That's what we're here. To make thanks, money. Thanks, thanks, check out if this suit is my size <laughs> Hi, before you leave. Nice. <laughs> thanks for coming, man. Like I always nice. say, you can follow the conversation on Twitter at WineNigerTV is the handle to follow. The hashtag is Robin Minds. You can also visit the website WineNiger.com forward slash TV. Remember, You've never seen young people talk like this before. I'll see you next week.